Why are you all green? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and no one wants to get pinched. Something happened. What? What? <laughs> when I bite down, oh boy, does it hurt. Okay, so bad news. Branson and Mara just called and said that Fiona, the female kitten, is not doing good. Fiona didn't make it. It's hard, loss is hard. How my experimental breads do today? Chocolate, rosemary, garlic, and regular. You guys look all handsome and green, snappy and green. Yep. Why are you all green? Because it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and no one wants to get pinched. Oh, oh Yeah! Whoa. Look at the footprints. I'm getting it. Wait, we need to check the toilet! In there! Okay. It is! Sweet. Upstairs! Wow. Um, my toilet wasn't clean when I went to the bathroom right here today. Oh, really? Wait, what about the milk? I don't the know. What about the milk? No. It is! What? That's my green milk. Wait, 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 wait. Is this fair life? Is it green? Is it green? Probably. Careful. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. It is! Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Move it. Something happened. What? What? <laughs> the bread is, is green. No, it's not. The whole thing is green. Everything's green. Those are like two of my favorite things mixed together. Chocolate and sourdough bread. How am I gonna eat it though? <laughs> what did you just do? I bit down really hard, I need to not do that. <laughs> Today's the day. Today's the painful day. Uh oh. It's very, like when I eat, it is painful. Oh no. It's like, they're not numb anymore. I can touch now. Mm -hmm. But when I brushed this morning, there were part, there were areas that were singing, like, Ooh. you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Singing big time, like two th two or three different places. And then, yeah, when I bite down, oh boy, does it hurt. But I will say, my sinus issues are better today. And my throat is much, like my throat and chest are better today than they were yesterday, so I'm happy with that. does a new thing where you come in, where he comes in and he sees you and he comes running with his arms big and wide. I mean, it's so cute. It like makes my heart burst. Those are yours, oh. all yours. You want those? Cookies? Like, oh, cookies? Package, yes. You want cookies? Yes. Here, they're for you. Wow, all of the them. First yes after there you go. Oh. There you go. You. Thank you, mom, open it. Can you those say thank you? you? Can you say thank you? Thank you, Can I have a hug? Ooh, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Can I have a hug? Oh, oh yeah, that's oh. all I wanted right there. <laughs> now you better go have a cookie. No. Stop. No. I'm excited. Not chocolatey. No way. Is he yummy? He's good. Mm. Well, I can tell they, they look like all of Zambi's. Yeah. Blueberry. Cheers. Sorry, you guys can't have any. <laughs> She's like. 
Okay, let's see. Till this day, I thought Savannah was taller than me, so this is new. <laughs> <laughs> You're about an inch taller than Lizzie is all. Maybe not, no, maybe not even a full inch. I don't think it's a full inch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mara, let's see you guys. Yeah, I think you're like a quarter of an inch, half an inch. And Lizzie grows like an inch a week. Yeah. Why are you talking to me like this? Like in a year. I know. <laughs> Whoa. That was crazy. Yeah, it's still burning. Oh, dang, that's crazy. Watch out. That's crazy, isn't it? It's come full circle. What? Is that Gigo clothes? Oh, oh let serious? me see. <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> Put your name on it. That's amazing. So Branson did a fundraiser for his Ego Project, a race for a friend. Was that Branson? Yeah, or no. no. This was, no, that was, this was okay. probably, yeah, so this one was probably Savannah's. But it's so Nima. cute. Nima. Time for dinner. Time for friends. <laughs> hey, Az, can you go down and get the cottage cheese so we can make pink salad? No. Hurry, go downstairs. There wasn't anything in there? There's nothing else in the fridge? No, there was a lot of milk cake. There was Jello. Jello? Yeah. There's Jello down there. What? Yeah. Green Jello? Uh -huh. How did that get there? We, you want to eat that instead of pink salad? Both! Go take the cottage cheese back and let's see the green jello. Okay, what's happening in here? You are not. Neymar, you're not sitting at the high chair? Well, he already ate You're that big of a boy now? Woo! I'm going to go sit in your high chair. Can I sit in your high chair? No. Oh, you want me to sit there? Okay. Okay, so it's day number or whatever, or four with the races. And um, I was a little worried about today and eating steak, but I've eaten like three bites and hey, it's not too bad. I think within the next few days we'll be fine. Back to normal, maybe. <laughs> okay, bye bye, love you. And spin around. Oh, he's, you're gonna make him throw up. Um, okay, so bad news. Branson, we were out in the hot tub. Branson and Mara just called and said that Fiona, the female kitten, is not doing good. She's bloated, lethargic, and so I'm gonna go meet Branson at the emergency vet right now. Okay, we got her. She took her back like immediately, so I'm just gonna okay. go see what she can do. Okay. I'm still meowing and everything on the way here, which is good. Which means she still has energy, but... Yeah. Hopefully if she can just get cleaned out, she'll be good. Hopefully. Because you said she was fine this morning? Yeah, she's walking around and stuff like that, fine, so... And what about, like, before you guys left to our house? Or did it seem like it? The nurse just came out and said they're working on her. Um, they're going to give her some heat therapy. Um, we told her that we were thinking maybe that the mom hasn't been stimulating her to use the bathroom, so um, they're gonna check on that. But she said she's very limp, so they're they're doing what they can. And they asked if they wanted us to, like, if they wanted to, if we wanted them to do like resuscitation or something if something happens. And absolutely. So we'll keep you updated. It's not an emergency room. It's an emergency vet. Since we've been two or since. July of last year, so not even a year. This is the second time we've been to this vet, and we've been in the emergency room twice. Emergency yep, surgery, one. Emergency ones. surgery, yeah. Lost two kittens and a tube. It's been a. And a baby. And a baby, yep. Wow. It's been a year, for <laughs> sure. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be, it sounds like they were able to get her stable, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, so they said that her blood sugar was really low and they gave her some glucose and she started meowing and moving around more. And they're gonna take an x-ray to make sure that she doesn't have blockage in her bowels or that her bowels aren't full or anything like that. So now we just wait. But look, we're wearing green, we're lucky. We got, we got luck on our side. 
something on our side. We got something on our side. I don't know if it's luck, but we got something. <laughs> And so I know we we're worried about her possibly being constipated, uh, mm -hmm. but actually her GI system looks okay to me. Yeah. There's quite a bit of fluid in the belly, which sometimes is not uncommon for kittens this young, uh, but this does seem to be a little bit in excess. Okay. Um, another thing I worry about is it does look like our, our heart is pretty big. Um, and also it looks like the lungs have a bit of fluid in there because normally the lungs should be more black than this mm. and there almost seems to be little white patches uh, that are kind of throughout there and a lot of times it could be um, from inhaling fluids um, or um, unfortunately sphinx cats in general uh, they carry about a 60% chance of having um, genes linked to heart disease. Mm. And that can show up, um, unfortunately, very early in life. She is in very critical condition, un unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And uh, how she's presenting, it tells us that if she is going to have a chance, that essentially she'd need to be in the hospital. Um, but even saying that with a neonate or very young kitty cat, a lot of times um, the prognosis for a full-term recovery is not going to be very good. So it could be something that couldn't even be done anything about. Mm -hmm. it, she said there was a high likely chance there was heart disease or liver, kidney, mm -hmm. liver. liver disease, yeah. which is not uncommon for Sphinx, she said. So, so ultimately it could be something that we couldn't have even seen or done anything about so hopefully they have some good results but yeah we're just gonna wait it out as long as we can yeah so hopefully so take a turn for the better <laughs> hopefully. okay sounds good we'll let him know okay okay love you love you so bye bye oh my goodness they don't know what's wrong with her. They think it might be heart disease, could be heart disease, could be a lot of different things. But it only happened within the last six hours, five hours. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. So something's not right. And so they have her connected up to oxygen and on a uh, an IV and on a heat pad. And they're just trying to get her to, from critical to stable. She's in critical condition, the cat is. Anyway, a lot of people have asked us before, like, you know, why do you have these cats? What do you? What's the whole reason for it? Well, there's people that are watching this that know that like that took some of the cats that got some of the cats from us. It's not about. It's not like this big business for us or anything like that. It's we really like these cats and we love these cats and like literally your cats running around here somewhere. These are like you know along with Charlie. They're, these are our, these are our animals and anyway this one is just not doing well and nobody knows why and so the choice was to euthanize it or to give it a fighting chance overnight and see what they can do and it's like I don't even know how euthanizing is even an option right now unless it was 100% heart disease and it's not yeah. it's just gonna suffer but they didn't say that so Mara is torn up holy cow Sarah said she's at peace Branson just doesn't sound very good anyway hard times for the for Branson Amara. Oh man. It's been hard. Zuri does not have good luck with kittens so far. Anyway. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, we got to see Fiona, talk to her. She did. She responded to our voices. She opened her eyes, meowed, tried to move, move around, which the nurse said was progress because when the vet came out and talked to us, she said she wasn't very, she wasn't responsive. So hopefully she'll be okay. We, we, Johnny and Branson and me and Mara all talked about it. And I felt like, and Mara felt like um, she needed a fighting chance, so. That's what we're doing. She's going to be monitored 24-7 at the vet tonight. They'll get a hold of us if, oh, we'll get a hold of Branson and Branson will get a hold of us if there's any, any news in the night. Hopefully there's not. And then in the morning, 
we'll take her over to the other vet. So here's hoping everything goes well. Well, I'm hopeful for the kitten and it's hard with that little, when they're so young that things could turn either way so quickly. She could go downhill so quickly and she could get better so quickly. So just keep praying that whatever is best for her will happen. We obviously hope the best is that she'll get better and, and live a full, happy, healthy life. And we'll just keep, keep waiting. There's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do until morning. So poor Branson and Mara are just struggling with all the trials they've had lately. And it's, it's hard, hard to be a person. It's hard to be an adult. It's hard to be people wanting to have babies. It's hard to have baby animals. It's hard to have big animals. It's all hard and it helps us grow. And if we didn't have the hard, we would not know the joy. There's a plan for all of us. And if we give into the hard, we can never reach our true potential. We'll keep going. We'll choose our hard and do the best we can to be our best selves every day. And that doesn't mean that we don't get to be sad. And that doesn't mean that we feel that we don't feel despair. And that doesn't mean that we don't have depression or any of those things. Those are all part of the hard. It's what we do with it. It's if we stay in those places. That's when we're choosing the really, really hard. A little update, and it's not a good one. I just uh, heard Sarah's phone ring, so I'm gonna go check it out. And it's two o'clock in the morning, and uh, I hear Branson's voice, and Sarah said, that's all she said. So I don't know what that means, but I don't. It, I, I don't think the kitten made it. That's basically just what she said. She just said, so, didn't say anything, she just shook her head, so anyway, I'll go find out really quick. Branson and Mara just called and said that Fiona didn't make it. She said the vet, they said the vet said that she just like, her heart, her heart rate spiked and then went, and then just kept getting lower and lower and lower and there was nothing they could do about it, so. It's hard, loss is hard. And also the, the opportunity of to have her for the life that we had, the two weeks that we had with her and the struggle of keeping her alive and connecting with her and watching her grow. It was a blessing in itself. So life is a blessing no matter how much we have, how long we have and how short we have. I'm just grateful that we got to go in and see her before we left and that she was responsive to us, that she opened her eyes and, and like knew, knew who we were, that she knew, that she knew us. And so we got to see her. I just, eh. it's just hard seeing Reds and Amara go through so much pain and sadness. And they're gonna be okay. They're gonna do great things. Life's a gift. <laughs>